we'll start with Jamie at Sci-Fi Vision. So feel free to ask your question and then we'll jump to you, Kyle. Hello, nice to talk to you guys. Thanks for, for being here. Um, I wanted a minute to first talk about Detective Taurus. Uh, she comes in and she sort of upsets the relationship between both of your characters. So can you both kind of talk about that and sort of where it puts the two of you in relation to each other? Well, I yeah, I think she she comes in no holds barred, um, business as usual, and whether she is just oblivious to it or she just doesn't care, she completely upsets the apple cart between mm -hmm. the two of us. And I don't even think, um, Corey, I don't know what you think about this, but I don't even think Sheriff Mike realizes how much no. she's upset the apple cart. He's just thinking more, uh, I think, about like his reaction to her, like, who is this person? Right. Whereas Liv is like, no one's paying attention to me. No one's listening to me. Everyone's forgetting about me. I mean, you'll literally see uh, some times where they actually forget she's even in the room with them. And that is incredibly upsetting to poor Liv. The ham sandwich. Yeah, I was just going to uh, say, I love uh, that scene. That, 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 you know, that awkward pause when she's back there talking about the ham sandwich and they both kind of turn around and he leaves her completely hanging. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny, you know, I think in a lot of ways, Mike meets his match, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Deputy Liv is his, his match in, in one way, but she's more uh, uh, flies with honey. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, than, than Detective Torres, who is in many ways, um, you know, like, like she, he calls himself big black and she calls herself medium brown. You know what I mean? So it, uh, I think <laughs> yeah. in some ways um, she sees herself uh, very similar to, I think, how he sees himself, except I don't think she has the insecurities that Mike has. Uh, I think she's presenting uh, as confident as she actually is. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Kyle, um, feel free to ask your question then. Sounds good. Uh, Corey, your, your character is a riot on the show, <clears throat> and, and I, I love his rapport with everyone around him. Um, Thank you. But you got to go to some dramatic elements uh, this season, um, uh, unexpectedly, at least in my opinion. Uh, how, did you, how did it feel getting to do um, that side of the character, and how do you feel it uh, season two ends up with him? Is it more on the dramatic side or is it more towards uh, the humor that he's been, been known for? Uh, great question. Um, I was thrilled to have the opportunity to present, um, you know, that dramatic, you know, work with, with Liz. Um, it was, uh, I think it was a necessary part of M Mike's character development. I think um, it humbled uh, him to the audience and created some empathy towards him. Uh, whereas some of his character deficiencies that I would, that I'd say, you know, um, that he's come to be known for, um, I think there's an, not an excuse for them, uh, but an explanation for them. And that explanation I think makes him more uh, human, ironically enough to, to the audience. Um, I thought it was, I, I thought it was wonderful. You know, I had a, uh, a large hand in writing a lot of, uh, what went down in that scene. And, um, it was, um, it was great. I was very much looking forward to it. Um, and as far as like moving forward with, with the season, um, uh, there is as, as with, with, uh, with every episode of our show, there's this, this, you know, roller coaster of, laughing and and feeling um and i think that that continues off but i will say you know i think um this this uh is as i said in the last interview as much as the second half of this season is bringing a resolution to some things um it, it it's kind of like um riding a roller coaster and you go through the coaster and you pull back into the place where you get in and instead of the bars coming up and you getting out the roller coaster takes back off again um it it uh this is this the end of this season is wild it's wild dude this is some wild shit that's about to happen and um i'm here for it I, i'm i'm loving it I'm, i think the audience is going to um feel very 
satisfied, like yum, 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 by the end of what's the that, season. What's, could you do that sound again, Corey? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, man. You got it. Uh, Jamie at Sci-Fi Vision, um, you should have time for another question. Um, and then Kyle, you should have time for a quick question as well. We have about four minutes left. Okay. Um, I just, Liv, I want to say you're, you're starting to get him to listen to you. I, I had mentioned that, but can you sort of talk about, is that going to continue? Is she ever going to kind of get through to him? And is he going to, I guess, let her in more? And maybe if you could talk about that a little bit too, Corey. I think, yeah, I, I think she is going to be able to get him to listen more. So far in the season, it's sort of come in fits and starts, mm -hmm. right? You think they're gaining ground and then he sort of dismisses her again. And I think you're going to keep seeing more of that. But even if he's oblivious at times, according to some other stuff that's going on in his character's personal life, I think he's always going to come back around to realizing she's sort of the voice of reason and that she's been she's been seeing what's really going on all this time. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think um, I think that that um, she's proven that she can be there and will be there for him. Um, and I think that um, there's a desire on his behalf to reassure her um, that that he'll be there for her as well. So um, again, the ebb and flow of of how the season will go, we'll see them kind of swing out and swing back together and um you know that's that's the dynamic that that exists with them thank you um so i see uh dana at the coalition you're able to jump back on um i'm glad your computer was able to be fixed um kyle so we're going to jump to the coalition just so she can get a question in and if we have any more time we'll jump to you okay and is for Corey really quickly. Um, you kind of stated that you wanted to be the best cop that you can be um, in order to honor your partner going forward. How do you feel that he will kind of implement that and how he deals with other people in the relationships on the show? Great question. Um, I think um, I think Mike coming to terms with uh, with the pain that lies under the surface for him um is going to be a freeing experience to a degree um i think it's something that he's been hiding for so long uh not just from others but from himself as well he's compartmentalized it at this place that you know it's banging on the door to get out and um he 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 kind of realized that um he can't move forward uh um until he kind of releases himself from this burden in whatever way that release is found. And part of that release was found um, uh, on the bench with, uh, with Elizabeth, you know, in that scene uh, where he shared his experience and, and she, you know, was right there with him. I mean, um, I also think, you know, um, I think that was one of the first times because we've had so much dynamic of comedy uh, between us uh, that, that Liz and I got to have, um, you know, scenes like that don't just bond the characters, they bond the actors as well. You know, we're not there. Uh, I'm not pretending to be hurt. That's not how any of us work. That pain in that moment is real. And you put yourself through it every single time for every single take. Uh, and so holding her hand and having her there uh, as you are constantly kind of reliving whatever creates that emotion for you um, is, is tough. It's not fake. It's real. Um, and so, you know, having someone there by your side then um, naturally creates a bond um, that is shared between the characters and between she and I. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We are um, at the end of our round table, but thank you. Sorry, guys. Kyle. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> I'm a long winded motherfucker. 